Looks like the South Park writers are just as big movie buffs as we are. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 South Park movie parodies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite episodes in South Park that parody our favorite films. Number 10, World War Zimmerman, World War Z. In a shocking turn of events, the jury has found Zimmerman not guilty! Only Cartman would dream of a situation in the ridiculous style of World War Z. While in class, Cartman has dreams where the verdict of the George Zimmerman trial has caused African Americans to begin a massive riot. Oh, and did we mention everyone is voiced by Cartman? How did I get such a perfect husband? How did I get such a beautiful wife? The episode ridicules some absurd moments from the Brad Pitt film, such as the lighthearted family moments and the airplane scene. However, the episode becomes more than just a parody, providing commentary on racism and self-defense laws, as well as the Trayvon Martin case. Take this plane back to Denver! You don't understand! There's no Denver left to go back to! Number 9, Major Boobage, Heavy Metal. Well, Kenny, are you buzzed? If you've seen the cult animated film Heavy Metal, you know the movie is one hell of a drug trip. However, it's not the kind we'd expect to come from inhaling cat urine, which is just what happens to Kenny and Gerald. Throughout the episode Major Boobage, Kenny frequently visits a woman who looks very similar to Tarna from Heavy Metal. One of the interesting pieces about this episode is that it pays respect to the source material by animating the characters through rotoscoping, just like the movie. It may be an obscure parody to some viewers, but others will get a kick at the playful jabs towards Heavy Metal's sexual content. You're too young for this stuff! Number 8, Human Centipad, the Human Centipede franchise. Hello Kyle, we're from Apple. We're all ready for you now. What? Ready for what? To fulfill the agreement. Just when we think there's a franchise even South Park wouldn't make fun of, creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone prove us wrong. After failing to read the terms and conditions to an iTunes update, Kyle finds himself as a part of Apple's newest product, the Human Scent iPad. Your son has made a binding and legal agreement with Apple, sir. An agreement to do what? While the main focus is how ridiculously extensive and frequent updates and privacy policies are, Human Scent iPad takes just as much time to make fun of the insanely gross Human Centipede movies. We'll admit that we may have been laughing through the nasty scenes, but at least one person seemed to enjoy Kyle eating fecal matter. Any guess who that might be? Well, kill! Number 7, Mecha Streisand, Godzilla, Gamera, Ultraman, and Mothra. Who is the boy I saw on the news report tonight? Any longtime South Park fan will tell you that Parker and Stone's least favorite celebrity is Barbara Streisand, and that's really putting it gently. I'm going ah, stop where that. there's lucky clovers yeah, in the in the season 1 episode Mecha Streisand, the singer assaults the boys in an effort to locate the Triangle of Zinthar and complete the Diamond of Pantheos. Upon completing the relic, she begins destroying the town as Mecha Streisand. Mecha Babura Streisand! Seeing this Godzilla reference is entertaining in every way, but it gets better when Mothra, Gamera, and even Ultraman enter the mix. The show's creators sure do love their monster movies, huh? <laughs> Number 6, Toilet Paper, The Silence of the Lambs. I was hoping you could help me solve a toilet papering case. And why would I do that? Because I'm such a charming fella? When the boy's art teacher punishes them for not taking her class seriously, they form a plan to teepee her house. Soon after, the entire situation blows up into a criminal investigation. As Kyle fights his guilty conscience and experiences some Godfather Part 2 moments, Officer Barbrady seeks assistance from juvenile delinquent Josh Myers, who seems to be a fan of The Silence of the Lambs. Of course, we quickly find Josh's Hannibal voice to be just an act. Whoa. Uh, oh. Thank you. What makes it so amusing is how this troublesome kid is treated like the most dangerous psychopath. Whatever you do, don't tell him your name or you might end up spilling your darkest secrets. What's the matter, Principal Victoria? Was your mother abusive? Number 5, D. Yikes, 300. This isn't crazy. This is Lesbos! Did anyone else feel 300 was a tad ridiculous with its use of slow motion? Well, Parker and Stone must have, as they spent an entire last half of an episode making fun of it. When Mr. Gar- we mean Miss Garrison- begins hanging out at a lesbian bar, she and the occupants soon find it under threat by Persians. We're going to put down some lovely blue carpet and gold curtain rods. I know it, I know it! The episode quickly turns into a 300 parody in the most absurd ways possible. 
with slow motion scenes of Garrison brewing coffee and a man getting kicked in the genitals. We're even graced by an appearance by Xerxes, who turns out to be a woman. How? How did you find that out? Number four, fantastic Easter special, The Da Vinci Code. Easter's just Easter, just, just go with it, kid. No, I'm not gonna just go with it. If you felt The Da Vinci Code got too absurd in its convoluted conspiracies, you aren't the only one. When Stan begins questioning the purpose of Easter, he finds himself entangled in a web of conspiracies surrounding the secret of the Easter Bunny. However, Stan quickly learns that everyone is simply reading too much into things. Throughout this parody, South Park points out the contradicting logic and plot points of its source material, with a secret rabbit society and an epic explosion caused by microwaved peeps. Peeps! Number three, Coon episodes, superhero movies. I'm the hero this town needs. I am the king. When the kids don their superhero personas, you can tell they're watching too many superhero flicks, and so are we. In its handful of superhero episodes, South Park makes fun of the many tropes we've come to notice in Marvel and DC movies. In one, Cartman and Kenny fight over sharing a rooftop as they try to be like Batman. In another, the kids try to get their own Netflix series to be like the dozens of other superhero TV shows. The plan ends in their own version of Civil War when they can't settle on their own multi-phase entertainment plan. You can always count on Matt and Trey to commentate on Marvel and DC's overwhelming success. How come I have to have the video game? I want a movie too! Number 2. Night of the Living Homeless – George A. Romero's Zombie Movies Oh, dude, what's with all the homeless people? When homeless people start to crowd the streets of South Park, the problem becomes almost catastrophic. Citizens are constantly hounded for any ounce of change they might have. Change! Change! change. No, no, that was really all the change I had! You could say it escalates to a zombie apocalypse of Night of the Living Dead proportions. However, the episode's title is not the only George Romero reference. Movie buffs will also spot scenes ripped straight from Day of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead. The homages to Romero's films are incredibly funny, and they help shed some light on the plight of the homeless. Yes! I did it! I jumped over the homeless! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Outlander! Outlander! We have your women! Excuse me, my name is- Ignore. Hey, could you tell me how Ignore. I- Ignore. Ah, uh, goddammit, I got sucked into Facebook! Number 1. The Return of the Fellowship of the Ring to the Two Towers, the Lord of the Rings franchise. Uh, boys, Butter's parents want to borrow the Lord of the Rings video we rented. Could you take it over to them? After watching this, it's safe to assume Stan's dad is the most idiotic of the parents. When Randy sends the boys to drop off a copy of Lord of the Rings to Butters, he soon discovers that he accidentally mixed the tape with a porno. What are you doing? The Queen and King of Stan's house wish the Lord of the Rings returned to them. But it's the greatest movie I've ever seen! Before we know it, the entire story unfolds into a retelling of Lord of the Rings, recreating memorable scenes the only way South Park knows how. Of course, another blockbuster franchise is referenced in this episode, and Cartman just couldn't resist taking a jab. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're playing Harry Potter! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.